Alright. What we learned from picks and bans. LDG versus BG. So, starting this a little bit different. Mainly. Oh, crap. Uh, Alright. Um. So, interesting thing that happened in this pick and ban. LDG bans Azir, and they first pick Kogma. This is pretty, pretty big, and it's kind of showing that LGG has a really strong idea about what they're intending to do and how they're actually going to do it, especially with the Victor ban too, because these two really throw a wrench into Kogma comps. Victor has crazy burst, and Azir actually has longer attack range than Kogma, and so he can actually zone the primary advantage of having Kogma on your team completely gone. So, this is really, really cool. ZeldaG is going to full blown protect the Kogma comp, while VG. They actually, and see this team picks up the proper response to it too that's available. These two are banned. Who's the next longest range A to carry? It's Jinx. And then Oriana for shields, who would be, really would have been a good mid lane pick here with Lulu top or something if they really want to go ham onto the Kogma. But they do kind of need a tank even though next Rex side can't do it. So anyways, we'll go into that later. Now, first, so threat range. We're switching pressure to threat range because it's what it really is. And um, let me just count. One, two, three, four. Who am I missing here? Malkai. So threat range is really close to equal because of Jinx. But Kogma, actually, hmm. we're gonna say it's pretty equal. But Kogma is stronger, and VG actually has a little bit more burst because of Oriana. But Kogma himself is just stronger, and he has more. Kogma has the shields, so the burst isn't that big of a deal that they have it because they have Lulu who can protect Kogma from the burst. But it's a lot about how they're gonna have to play out the fight. So engage. Who actually has better engage here? I think Rek'Sai Bard and Nar is going to be significantly better than Eve, Maokai, Alistar. Hmm. It's mainly the Bard. If Bard, la Bard lands his ult on somebody, then uh, LDG can follow up and it's going to be stronger. But overall, oh, Orianna, Alistar, I like this. So this is actually pretty equal too. I'm surprised. I thought this was going to be more one-sided. Um, poke and heal. Hmm. Not really different on either side. Bard has heals, Elstar has heals, and their pokes are pretty bad. So it's kind of like they both have really bad poke. Um, they're using their long range sustain, which is like the same range as most pokes, so you're not going to really see poking. Unless you're counting the auto attacking and poking, but that's actual, like, a really close threat range stuff. So, pick. Who is the strongest pick? Uh, LDG. Only because of that bar ult. If you can land that on someone that's unexpected or caught out somewhere and then they follow up with that, we're giving this to LDG. I'm actually liking that because. I'm liking the Bard pick with the Kog'Maw in this style of a comp. Um, was Jenna banned? I'm not sure. I still like Jenna more, but we'll see. And VG also doesn't have a strong dive comp onto them, so I guess Jenna doesn't really matter. Alright, so engage pressure. Nobody really has this in this game. Hmm. It's going to be a losing team. This makes it... 
This is really cool because. So VG managed to pick a very strong, not a counter comp, but an equal comp. So while LDG has a stronger AD carry and stronger shields, VG has an equal range AD carry but more burst and a little bit stronger tanks, which are going to be able to survive longer against the Kog'Maw AD carry. And this is important because that's the majority of damage that LGG is going to be dealing out. So how do the fights go out? Well, for LDG, first the standard fight is whoever's winning is going to just be pushing towards them, throwing like um, the Lulu, Lulu Qs, the Nar Boomerangs, and have Kog'Maw having Kogma auto attack as LDG tries to you know push an objective or something. Well VG is going to be having Oriana balls being pushed up, Maokai kind of running up throwing saplings. Not nah, he's probably split pushing but Oriana balls going out with uh, Jinx shooting her laser and zapper. I don't know what it's called. But um and maybe Eve looking for a flank. But it's not Neither team really is going to be looking for an engage, besides VG, actually. That's why thinking about the fight's good. You can go back and adjust some of these things. VG can look for a fight more so. No, I don't think so. I th I'm going to stick with the losing team for engage pressure. So, if LGG has to engage, they're going to be looking for a Bard ult, ideally on Jinx. Uh, possibly Oriana, but the, I don't think they're going to be too concerned about Oriana. Looking for it on Jinx, Kogma going in, and Rek'Sai and Nar just... Mm, not both of them going in. Someone's got to protect Kogma, besides the But uh, mainly looking for the Bard. Bard ult, and Rek'Sai and Nar dive. It's not... It's one or the other. You're not going to see both. You shouldn't see both go in. You should see one or the other, and then the remaining one will try to protect Kogma. So whoever builds more tank, it's probably going to be Nar, because he's going to flank. But it might be Rek'Sai, because Rek'Sai should be at the fights. So that's what you want to be watching out for with LGG's fight. VG, VG is going to put the ball in Alistar and have him go in. They have to do that. Probably Eve is going to try to get the flank first, and then the Alistar Ball is going to go in, and Dandy will follow up with a teleport and either go to Jinx or go into the fight. So, Eve flank, Eve slash Alistar, Aori. We'll call it Aori. Eve and Aori follow up. But it doesn't. It doesn't have to be that though. They can just zone. Zone cog. So, VG can do like a full commit on Mata. They can have Mata run in and just knock Imp back. And just keep pressuring Imp back out of the fight while VG kind of pushes up and clears out the rest of LDG's team while Imp is just not there. So if you're only running a protect the Kogma, um, and your Kogma's you know not in the fight, you're gonna have a lot of trouble. And that's what uh, an alternative thing that VG can do. I kind of feel like that's probably the best way to do it. Especially because you have Alistar who can pop his ultimate and have that time. And the Alistar has exhaust so he can get in there, knock him back, mess him up while he has his ultimate going, and then follow up that ultimate with a, an exhaust onto the Kog'Maw. And this entire time, VG will be killing their entire team. So, looking at this, it's so close. It's so close, and if I just judge by my requirements I said above, LGG is going to have this game. Um, and it LGG, 
LGD, I think I was saying it wrong, my apologies, but the big thing with it is that they banned the Azir and they picked the Kog'Maw. They saw this sort of weakness or this counter to the comp that existed and they took advantage of picking something and they took advantage of the bans to allow them to play a specific comp. Hopefully that's what they did. They might have just been banning out for Pong, is it? I don't know. Anyways, that's, that's my breakdown of the picks and bans for this game.